The skill sheet will cover fire ground operations, which it will more specifically will be 6-3.2, which is coordinated in interior attack below grade level. So this is 6-3.2C. So the task is going to be to coordinate an interior fire attack for a structure fire below grade or in a basement. On the performance outcome, while operating as a team leader, the candidate should be able to coordinate the interior attack of the structure fire in a basement by maintaining crew integrity, predicting fire behavior, forecasting developing hazards, and selecting the proper attack technique while incorporating forcible entry, ventilation, and search and rescue activities. On the task steps, Number one, you're going to assemble all the required personnel attack lines and needed equipment and forcible entry tools. Number two, you're going to ensure that adequate ventilation is established prior to entry. Three, communicate the team's action plan for advancement and entry. Four, select, communicate, and coordinate the application of a, and you're going to choose one of these, a direct attack for intense fire, or indirect attack for intense fire conditions, a combination attack for moderate fire conditions, and a direct attack for tenable fire conditions. Five, you're going to conduct a size-up that considers the scenario as anticipated fire spread and development. Six, determine any developing and or potential hazardous building or fire conditions. On seven, you're going to incorporate forcible entry, ventilation, and search and rescue procedures into the team's initial fire attack efforts. And on eight, you're going to coordinate the team's efforts while maintaining personal safety of all personnel. So just like we said for the ground level or the entry floor, um, on a basement fire, you're going to want to make sure that you communicate and coordinate all different activities. Make sure you have all of your equipment necessary prior to making entry. You're going to want to size up that situation. Make sure that everybody understands the attack that you're going to apply based on the conditions that you're either given or that you witnessed. Make sure they understand what your uh, overall objective is when going down those stairs and getting through that thermal uh, column that uh, most likely is going to be coming up at the stairs that you're going to be going down. Coordinate that ventilation if it is needed prior to that attack. Make sure that you select the appropriate attack based on those conditions. So an untenable is going to be an indirect, uh, a moderate is going to be a combination, and a tenable environment is going to end up being a um, direct attack. Make sure that you select that appropriate technique, maintain crew accountability, maintain crew accountability throughout. So on the entry as well as the egress, once you get exterior of that structure, make sure that you take a uh, PAR, personal accountability report, and relay that information over to the scenario evaluator so that they understand you have maintained integrity of the crew and you have maintained accountability of each and every person entering that structure that is under your care at that time. Verbalize everything that you're going to be dealing with during that situation, attack the fire, perform search and rescue, ventilate additionally if necessary, then make egress, always facing that fire, make sure that everybody's accounted for, and then exit the structure, and again, take that accountability report and pass that on to the evaluator.